most of the deals that I've done are normally on gut instinct. Um, of course, there's a model that I follow. You know, how many pitches are there? How much per pitch am I paying? What's the generation that's coming through? But ab- above that, if you know, if it ticks all those boxes, the next thing is, do I want to buy it because there's any upside? Do, do, you, do you follow me? Because mm-hmm. you've got the box standard bit. Let's just hypothetically say you're buying a house. You know the property is going to produce £2,000 a month. You know it's going to cost you £35,000 to refurb and bring back on. And you know the price of it and that's what it's going to make on the street. But for me, it needs to be more than that. And that's the gut instinct of, are you going to get the extension? Are you going to get the basement added? Can you add some value to it? And that's really a gut instinct I think you learn, in my view. Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of property, you've got that, um, the gut instinct, which I go on a lot, to be honest, and you've got to follow your gut. And you did say there's obviously the overall um, strategy and stuff you look at. Um, If people are starting out right now, what it says, invest in your local area, know your town plan. So every town's got a plan. Speak to your council, find out what they're going to be doing in the next few years. Um, Speak to the, the planning department about any changes they might be having to legislation, to law that may be coming in, like HMOs, Article 4, something like that, is it coming in my area? Um, a really good, Article 4 people are scared of for HMOs, but actually what it's done in every area that it's come into is it's increased the property price for HMOs in the area. Yeah. So a, a good plan for, if you're not in an Article 4 area, is to speak to your council, see if it's coming, get HMOs before they come, and your price is going to go up automatically overnight yeah. because nobody else can buy in that ring-fenced yeah. area now. But also it puts a premium for anyone who wants to buy one because they can only buy it off you. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. looking for little hacks like that about how can I add value quickly through either adding value, like you said, Alfie, or yeah. through a new law change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so. absolutely. Or, or other things. If, say, for instance, there's a new hospital being built yeah. or a new college being built and... and, and People don't realise how much of that is happening yeah. up and down the country. Tubes. Yeah, right exactly. Here, we're in yeah. East London. They, with the Olympics, people bought specifically for the Olympics. But yeah. actually, the real value was in the tube lines. Yeah, yeah. On the, on the high-speed yeah. rail, all that sort Better of stuff. Better transport links. Yeah. But all of those are, are, are add values, and you're going to get more than an uplift in the property yeah. market.